hello guys this is current affairs plus channel where we bring to you the latest news in politics sports and entertainment we say thank you for stopping by before i proceed with today's news if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscription button below this video just go ahead and hit on that red subscribe button so that we you stay up to date with all our latest news and updates here is the headline edo 2020 obaseki is a inducing voters with cash gift yaga here is the news in details governor obaseki of people's democracy Democratic Party, PDP, and Osage Izeyemo of the All Progressive Congress, APC, have been accused of inducing voters with cash and voters. In a report on Friday, the Youth Initiative for Advocacy, Growth, and Advancement, Africa, Yaga, said the two major political candidates in a dual governorship election has been involved in vote buying. Chairman of Yaga Africa Watching. The vote 2020 Edo Election Observation Mission, Dr. Aisha Abdullahi, lamented that the parties were not involved in issue-based campaign. She said political parties, especially the APC and PDP, are investing in the distribution of money and gift items as a strategy to swing voters. Within this reporting period, the LTOs reported incidences of voter inducement in Igwebun, Oredo, Iboba, Okaha, Osako Central, Owa West, Ovia Southwest, Ego, Ovia Northeast, Essan West, and Essan Southeast local government. Abdullahi also raised the issue of violence being sponsored by political actors in the state. She stated that the incidents of violence were prevalent in 13 of the 18 local government areas of the state. She urged the Independent National Electoral Commission as well as security agencies to ensure that the election was conducted in a peaceful atmosphere. These concerns are fueled by the report of violence, arms stockpiling, recruitment of thugs, vandalism, and a surge in the court group activities in battle local governments ahead of the election. INEC should ensure proper coordination with security agencies for the effectiveness of safety of personnel and materials deployment. This includes ensuring the state's delivery of personnel and materials after the election. Security agency must maintain the utmost level of neutrality and professionalism in enforcing election day security. They must respect the law and citizen constitutional and civic rights and refrain from excessive force, she said. My people, there's a video circulating online right now where Issei Iyamu of APC in Edo State who is contesting for governorship, where his group are shelling Abada clothes in exchange for voters' card. I mean, this is unbelievable. What is going on in Nigeria? He say Iyemu, who is a pastor, is desperate for power to be the governor of Edo State. But with all what is going on, I think the INEC supposed to disqualify him. It is getting too much. My God. Why are they so desperate for power? What do they have to offer? I mean, this is getting out of hand. Buying votes. Inducing people with clothes, with money, just to be the governor of the states. And what people fail to understand, you sacrifice your future for a piece of abada clothes and some piece of money and when they get in power they will forget you how can you sacrifice your future because of a piece of clothes my people i don't know what's going on in that country anymore it is getting too much inducement of money inducement of clothes inducement of whatever is available just to be the governor of the states and when he becomes the governor what happens what can he offer to the people this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 
don't record the record of your father.